just want you to turn and talk to the person next to you about some of your designs and your thoughts about some of your designs and why they might work. Go ahead. When I saw this teacher's level of excitement and the creative thinking that her students had in solving the problem, I felt like, drop the mic, my job is done, <laughs> this was great. How do I clone this in 33 more buildings? So on this one, where is my following going to be? The bottom, the bottom, the bottom. We have 33 elementary schools in Worcester. That's 25,000 students, 1,800 teachers. The other one for the other side. There was something in my career, some teacher, some program somewhere that inspired me to be a scientist, and I want to make sure I'm doing that for our 25,000 students. So when I think about what success looks like in the district, that's in two places, success for my teachers and success for my students. Success for students is that they're engaged in the learning, they're critical thinking, and that they're thinking bigger about the world. They're not just memorizing vocabulary or doing multiple choice tests, but they're problem solvers and real world thinkers. Success for me, thinking about teachers, is their excitement and enthusiasm in terms of teaching the curriculum, the comfort that they have in their ability to teach it, and I think the excitement they get when their students do well. One of the things we love about Engineering is Elementary is it not only hits the engineering standards for us and greatly supports the engineering design process, but every EIE unit also ties to a science content standard. So it's almost a two for one for our elementary teachers. They can hit science standard and engineering and also be developing all those critical thinking 21st century skills that we want our students to be practicing. The first go-round for us with EIE, we started small. We had just 10 teachers. I think we were in five or six schools. And we saw how it worked. They went back to school, implemented. We followed up with these teachers. And at the district level, what we realized is for us to support those teachers, we need to have some sustainability. When Worcester District came to us wanting to implement EIE, they already had a very well planned out implementation plan. And what was great was they were open to collaborating with us to sustaining that implementation over years. So it wasn't just about training teachers, it was about training trainers that could then train teachers and keep the implementation going over the course of many years. Dell partnered with Worcester and the Museum of Science to expand the EIE implementation. I feel really good at the elementary level that we now have a resource for our teachers that has great professional development in one day. Ease of implementation. I want to say that again because ease of implementation. That's what gives teachers the comfort to do the program is ease of implementation. And we found after our teachers went through the one day workshop they were excited and when they started implementing it was easy. They didn't struggle with it. They didn't grapple and they were excited to follow it through all of its stages. The EIE program really does that for us. It helps to engage all of our learners, whatever their language is, because there's common ground. Let's solve a real world problem. And that's really what engineering education is all about. We want these students out there doing hands-on, minds-on, inquiry-based education so that they can go forward and create the tomorrow that we all really want to live in.